Hey, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Sam Basher, and scientists are putting human brain stuff into mouse brains. It has begun. Rule number one, never put human stuff inside of non-human stuff. I'm talking sexual and non-sexual parts, people. Like having sex with sheep, like right here. Or putting human brains inside of mice. Oh yeah, I'm talking flowers for Algernon, pinky in the brain, deep blue sea, rise of the planet of the apes shit. Every goddamn sci-fi movie has warned us about this, but do we listen? Nope, we're like, it'll heal diseases. Those diseases won't matter when our mouse overlords will make us run mazes for cheese and test their shampoos as retribution for decades of abuse. <laughs> But I digress. So, scientists have taken glial cells from donated human fetuses and injected them into mouse pups. The cells then developed into astrocytes and within a year, the human glial cells overtook the mouse's native cells. They kept growing and replacing mouse cells until there physically wasn't any more space to grow in their skulls. Astrocytes are the cells attributed to conscious thought and strengthen the connections between the neurons. By injecting these into the mice, their cognitive capabilities increased by four times that of an average mouse. Pretty crazy. In a similar experiment, they injected the same neural cells into mice with a myelin deficiency. Now, myelin is the insulation for nerves in the brain that help send electrical signals. Over time, the glial cells turned into oligodendrocytes, the cells responsible for making myelin, and somehow sought out and corrected the deficiency throughout the brain. All right, so that's pretty cool, and if it was applied to humans, it could be a giant leap forward in the field of medicine and could cure a lot of diseases. Blah, blah, blah. But what about the possibility of a future animal overlord, you ask? Well, Steve Goldman, the scientists at the University of Rochester Medical Center in New York stated that this does not provide the animals with additional capabilities that could in any way be ascribed or perceived as specifically human. So apparently the human cells improve upon the mouse brain, but they do not change it into a human brain. But here's the kicker. Scientists have decided not to run experiments on apes or monkeys, stating that there is a potential ethical issue. Don't lie, scientists. You're scared of a possible Planet of the Apes uprising. And I say, go ahead, take the risk. I would be just fine in an ape-run world. I would make myself valuable to our ape overlords and rise through the ranks and become the chief human advisor for the United Apes of America. <laughs> Guys, what would you do in an ape-run world? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out these annotations, and be sure to check out the 4 Human People's channel where I hang out. My name is Sam Basher, this is SourceFed, and uh, maybe go to the zoo and say thank you to the apes. Show them some love. They're not too bad. One day when they're in charge, they might be nicer to you. <laughs>